Now we are unboxing the Singa Polycarbonate and Brass 75% custom keyboard. So this thing is polycarbonate, so let's get, well, should we even bother with a dark death mat? Nah, the white and grey looks fine. Okay. So packaging pretty nice, the, the foam fits the box nicely. It's not dense foam, but it is thick. You see how it, it has a lot of give, so it's definitely not dense foam, but it is thick, so that's good, makes up for that. And we've got the screws and the rubber feet. Because I believe you are not supposed to ship it with the brass installed. So when I build this and when I ship it back, it, I, ha I probably have to unscrew the brass pieces actually. So the brass, you can see it's not packed completely. Okay, see, so look at this. See how this part is exposed? Yeah. You've got the brass line face over here. So this is taped to the PCB. Let's take all that out together. And we've got the brass plate. And you've got the case itself, the polycarbonate case. Let's see how it is packed. So you've got no real cover over it, just two sheets of bubble wrap. And then this is the reason why I didn't get a polycarbonate singer myself, otherwise I would have gotten it for sure. But the this part I do not like at all. See how the two blockers are not the same width? That just that pisses me off so much. But some people do like it, so it's a thing. And I guess it's kinda cool though, you can see the the, the mat from the, the case itself. Okay, so polycarbonate. How's the anodizing? <laughs> Pretty good. I don't see any pitting or, or streaking or anything like that, but it is lightly frosted as you can see. It's not just completely clear. Very nice matte finish. see the chamfered edges as well kind of cool it's having trouble focusing okay, you see that sociopathic hey how's it going polymune needs to die okay yeah so yeah it is kind of bendy now <laughs> I can't see it Morning Coffee says, what do you think about poly? So, as a case material, it should be pretty nice. Do not use it as a diffuser material though. But, case material, we'll find out. Uh, polycarbonate sounds very similar to acrylic cases though, from what I know. And we will build this live on stream, maybe next week or the week after. Uh, I don't know, we'll ha I'll have to check with the owner. 
SNC Brax, hey, good to see you here, my good friend. Where have you been and how have you been? Fisher says, I was looking into getting this, maybe not anymore. Okay. Yeah, so we've got the two polycarbonate pieces. Okay, so the top, you know, polycarbonate. And then we'll check out the bottom, I'm just trying to see. So the finish on it is actually quite nice. And it really makes me want a normal top for it. Because... I wonder if the aluminum top will fit the polycarbonate bottom. That would be fun, right? The true lazy fart. Hello, hello indeed. Welcome to the stream. And Precise Troll is here. Hey. We've missed you in the Discord. Okay, so... You will see the lion head cut out. And so this, this, the nice, the thing I do like about the polycarbonate bottom is that it shows you how the lion face and the head or whatever, the mane works. Because a lot of people don't appreciate how well thought out this was. The construction for this, this bottom is actually really nice. And whoever did this, great job. And this is definitely the main set out oh, yeah, as stupid as it sounds. This is the main selling point of the the singer And we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, it's very impressive. It's a three-piece Construction because a lot of people don't see how impressive it is until they realize that If you did it the normal way you would have you would get screws on the main itself Okay, so we have the plate. We'll take everything out to check. Uh, should we test the PCB first? We should. We want to make sure that at least the USB connector works, right? Morning coffee. Is it a lot lighter than the aluminum version? Yes, of course. Of course, of course, it is a lot, a lot lighter. Uh, but with the brass installed, how much difference will it be? We will find out. We can weigh it today. Hold on. So I'm just trying to take the pieces out. You will see, yeah, it's stuck onto. Okay, maybe I'll just pull it out. Ooh, that is kind of satisfying. Okay, now the lion. Well, it looks so much better in polycarb. Yes, so some people don't like it. I know my friend Gok does not like it as much. Does not like how it shows you the insides as much compared to the aluminum. I like it though. And it makes me want to get the poly, not, it makes me want to keep my aluminum one and then get a polycarbonate one because I do like the, the bottom. But we'll see how it works with RGB and everything. We'll, we'll get around to that during the build. Ooh, actually, I can show one off right now. Because I do have a single PCB with RGB installed. I just have to look for it. It's somewhere. Okay, so... Let's test the PCB real quick. Ooh. So this PCB is different. This is a purple PCB. It reminds me of the Zeal 60 PCBs, as you can see. Pretty much the same color scheme. Shlazy Fart says, finally managed to catch a stream live. Well, that's great to know. And again, welcome, welcome to the stream. Long Cutie Pie is also here. How's it going? And okay, who else is here? Doesn't poly sound higher pitch? Also, is going to be lighter. Okay, so the thing about poly acrylic boards, actually, it sounds the way to put it is, it sounds muddier. So if you have, say, for example, a clicky board and you put it in acrylic, 
it'll mute and muddy the clicks. And so it gives it a very nice fuck sound. So I guess the best way to describe the difference between an aluminum case and a plastic case is that plastic ones will sound, like polycarbonate acrylic, will sound muddier. And so maybe you want that, maybe you don't want that. I think both are still cool. I think that for box whites, I would probably, something like box whites with the crazy high pitch click, I would try to amplify that with an aluminum case, maybe a steel plate as well, even though I usually don't like steel plates. And yeah, so for the for acrylic bottom, you can see in my acrylic builds, you'll see that. Yeah, so some people will like how they sound with different switches. Again, it depends on what switches you want. It depends on the sound signature you want. Yes, less ping, more thock. And whether or not it's a good thock, though, is another question, right? Because on one hand, maybe because of how much work you spent on making the switches sound perfect, maybe if you put it into an acrylic or polycarbonate case, you're like, ooh, this muddies everything. You know, I've spent so much time making it sound the way I want it to sound, and then... Oh, this is not what I expected, you know. There's so much more, there's much more, more hollow and, 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 and bassy sound. So yeah, so maybe you don't want that. I think it's cool though. I think that it's cool to have in your rotation. But I personally do not like it with clicky switches. Okay, so we've got stuff everywhere. Let's test the PCB and then we will put everything together. So this PCB does not have the RGB LEDs installed. We will have to do that. But for now, we will test the PCB. So switch hitter, our old friend. Where are my tweezers? Trilogy device says, wow, the PCB is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so the purple, yeah. So if you've seen a 060 PCB, this looks very similar to it. And keyboard user four, welcome to the stream. Where are the other three keyboard users? So you just wanna make sure that everything shows up on switch hitter. If anything doesn't show up, please let me know. I am trying to rush through this because for Monday streams, I try to keep it under two hours because I have to wake up early the next day for class and I have to get some school work done. But we've already gone past two hours. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, we have a weekly Friday stream as well, where we build, we do full builds. It's same shit every Friday, different keyboard, but same format where we build a keyboard from start to finish. No, like seriously, like we will actually do the typing and then we'll come to it. Keyboard user, I used to use Keyboard Tester as well. And my favorite part about it is the auditory feedback that it, you can turn on. Switch Hitter doesn't have that. But Switch Hitter, like Precise Show says, it detects key chatter, which is huge. And so this should be the only thing you use to test. Don't use any of the web-based clients. Keyboard Tester is pretty good. And then there's another one that got famous because of RMK and top plaque or whatever and that one is fucking bad uh i don't know why people still use that because it's not as good as keyboard tester and it's nowhere near as good as switch hitter because switch hitter has 
uh, detection for key cheddar, which I think is absolutely necessary for testing. For PCBs, it doesn't matter if it has key cheddar or not, right? But when you build the full board, yes, you want to use switch hitter. Oh? Oh no? Oh wait, hold on, what did I... What have I done? Okay, so, so... What is going on? What is happening? Why are these two not showing up? So the bottom two keys on the rightmost column are not showing anything on switch hitter. So this one might be an FN key. Oh no, this one might be FN, but this is supposed to be the right arrow. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fire up key uh, boot mapper, and then we will test over here. So okay, so what happens is if I do one key, see it'll show one something on the the grid. So now let's test the two keys that didn't show up. So this one does FN like we expected, but this one, the bottom right one. I am, I am touched. I'm very much touching it. I'm touching it. Nothing shows up. See, so this one, yeah, this one works. See, all these work. Look at that. This whole row. Uh, this column, sorry. FN. But bottom right, there's nothing. So, we caught on camera, right? We unboxed it. So, one key does not work. So, so far, we've unboxed two singers, both with PCB problems. So, we'll see if how fixable this one is. Fighty Fox says it also happened to my singer. Yeah, see, so... Amazing stuff. See you, Brian. Thanks for tuning in, as always. The True Lazy Fart says, side note, when I first discovered you, I was so excited to find out you were from Malaysia. Then I realized you're based in the USA. Oh, yeah. And I have not been back to Malaysia in a while. I hope I don't have to go back anytime soon, but... But, yes. My... Most of my family is still in Malaysia, though. So, I'm not completely detached from it. Okay, so, I'm going to check the PCB right now. So, it does look like... The only... The first thing that stands out to me is the... Let's see, diode, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, so see the resistor is for the LED, that's whatever. The diode definitely looks off. So what I can do right now to try to fix it is I'm gonna turn on the soldering iron. And then we'll see if that helps us. So yeah, so as I said, you can see the diode is kind of off the pad on the PCB. So we try to straighten that out. Get it? Oh, we're gonna, never mind. Sastro says, I'm afraid of getting sucked into keeps again. That's why I'm staying away. Good idea. Then why are you here? <laughs> if you try turning it off and on again. much on the desk right now. Should I just adjust it? I should just adjust it. Hold on. I want to try to straighten it too.
Mr. Keith says, which brand is your wick? So I believe I should have a link to it on the welcome page on the Discord server. It is the Chemwick from Chemtronics. But yeah, but if you go there, you should see it there. Okay, let me test it out now. Lol. God. Well, now, now it works, see? So, red right arrow works now. Yeah, so what was happening was, so I was trying to test that column, right? And I kept having the OBS studio, uh, so my streaming software, in focus. And so I was doing page up and page down on my streaming software, so it went to the other... Scenes. Okay, so that's great. Now we have it working. Let's set the PCB aside. I want to bring out the RGB one. Yeah, so sad to see that yet another fucked up single PCB. Or at least, you know, it wasn't completely fucked up, but still, it's annoying that you have to fix it yourself. Okay, so this one already has the RGB LED installed. This was the replacement PCB that I got for my own singer that I bought. The one that came with the defective USB connector. Oh. Precise show, maybe what you should do is you should just block the keyboard channels, keyboard related channels on the Discord server. And then you don't have to worry about keyboards as much. Oh, you still have vintage blacks to sell? Damn. And yeah, good luck with School Precise Troll. That is not a, an easy decision to make. So... Definitely... Godspeed. And all the best to you, my friend. Okay, so this one already has the RGB LEDs installed. Uh, I don't even know if they're working though, let me make sure. Okay, see they work. So let's put the singer together with this PCB and let's see how it lights up. Hmm. Fucking old now, 35. Well. Never too old to learn though. Are you taking any more math classes? Okay, so I'm gonna start putting this together and we will get to see how the weight, the brass weight and the lion face work. Because I think that's definitely the most impressive part of the single. Bubble wrap everywhere. Okay. So Usually, if I were to screw something just in,
If it were just a regular... Piece, you would have expected... Oh, you know, to, just to be easy, I'm just going to screw in from the outside. And then you think, oh, I'm just going to... Then I can just screw it in from the inside, right? Don't worry about that, but... It also has this face that makes it all a bit trickier. And so the way it's done is, and because if you look at the weight on the inside, see how there's no screw points over here? So at first when you see pictures of the whole thing assembled, you think to yourself, what in the world? So there are no screw points on the inner weight, right? nothing here, but at the same time, there's nothing on the outside. So how does it all work? And so when it's disassembled, it becomes quite clear, as clear as the polycarbonate case we're working with. And so yeah, so you screw it in here first and then this thing covers that whole construction up. So pretty cool. Okay, and so for the weight, we have to be very careful to go with the right screws. They don't tell you which ones are which. You're just going to have to be very careful. So these, I believe, should be for the plate. Because they're all the same, and there are seven of these. Eight, eight of these. This should be for the case. They're pretty long. So someone, I don't know if you've seen, on Mac Market, I think, or on mechanicalkeywords.com, Oh, not, not, uh, on RMK, they used the long screws accidentally and created two dimples on the line. It was pretty sad. Wait, those are spoons? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know. Oh, and then they include this as well. I'm not quite sure what this is. This is the RGB controller. Uh, is that for the RGB? I think so. But yeah, but if you do want the SMD LEDs, you have to buy them yourself though. Okay, so we've got the brass right over here. And then I... Which screws are we gonna use? So you got these four really short ones that should be for the inner weight because there are four of them and then there's two, only two of these so you can safely assume that these will go here. So, yeah, so be very careful, you don't want to do what Vince Pones did, make two dimples on your lion. Okay, see, so it's, that looks super cool. I mean, other than it's too bad. So far, it looks pretty nice, right? Look at that. That looks amazing. That oof, that looks so good. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, maybe I should have bought a polycarbonate one just to use the bottom. Maybe I really should have done that. Okay. Ooh. And then the brass weight, the inner weight. You know, we could even try to see how it looks with the stainless steel weight and line because I have mine as the polished stainless steel. This is sandblasted brass. So when you're screwing this in, please be very careful. You don't want to damage the polycarbonate. So look at the inner weight. That is, that is, honestly, 
very, very, very nice. Look at that. The sandblasted finish. So I don't know how... Would you have preferred a shiny brass finish? I mean, I personally much prefer sandblasted. But maybe you might think, well, I'm already sandblasting the polycarbonate. Maybe I should use a different finish on the brass. So, I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? I mean, I will always prefer, almost always prefer sandblasted brass. But okay, so one main problem though with this is that you will see that... You could get a bulge in the middle because there's no way to screw it in, in the middle. See that? True Lazy Fart says, what do you think of the GMK Chocolatier set? I am 100% in. I have not placed my order. I'm, I'm, I am a true lazy fart. And so I always wait until the last day or the last, the second last day to place an order. But I love it, All right? So you can see the essay version is pretty much my favorite essay set. And I've kept this set for the longest ever. Most keycaps I sell quite quickly. I, I, I don't like keeping keycap sets for long. But this one, I've kept it. And I might finally sell it when the, chalk, when the GMK version ships. Okay, so now let's take the plate out. Okay, ADXLK says, numbers from Z Frontier Core, we have 77 so far. Space novelties are 70, space bars are 32. Nice, space bars might not make it actually. I will buy an SA set from you. Won't, won't be very cheap though. It's getting harder to find chocolate, SA chocolate here now. So I'm not even sure if I'll sell it yet, but I will consider it for sure once the GMK set comes in. Because I don't ever type on SA really. This is the only SA set I have on hand right now. Okay. So. Got this so, so far, and this is the perfect desk mat for this, right? I, I really like the whole look so far. You've got the brass, you've got the polycarbonate, you've got the white and gray desk mat with the yellow that kind of sort of goes with the brass. Very aesthetic stream. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the rubber feet on the case. So it's this is always nice to see when the case has cutouts for the rubber feet you can see there so oh it's nice to see I like that detail Look at that. So when when I was talking to Gok about this before it even shipped, he mentioned that he didn't like the way that you could see the inner weight from the outside. I said that I like it because, because at first I think he was worried that the the bra the lion face would be too close, the mane would be just you know would just fade into the brass weight but you can see that the polycarbonate layer in between the three so like I said the polycarbonate version does a great job at showing you how the three layer weight system works so almost like material design right you can see that there is a top layer you can see that there is a second layer and then a third layer and so I love this so much this looks so good all right, you can see that you can definitely tell this depth. You can tell that the inner weight is, you know, sitting quite a bit further from the lion mane out here. Sarika caps would actually look fucking good on this. Actually, yes. Maybe yes. 
Morning coffee says brass line. The yellow like sir yellow ceric on that looks dope. Yes. And surely if I says it's fine, I got your monies. Well, hit me up then. Yeah, but it won't ship. It'll ship in twenty nineteen, right? GMK chocolate here. And long cutie pie. What about that Nautilus? I've actually sold it off at cost already because I did not. I did not like the. The alpha colored pipe key I am absolutely not okay with that that is a deal breaker for me and so I sold that off okay so let's put the PCB in the one the RGB now we need actually we need some switches to hold this up so PCB mount switches okay I have some here well yes I have some Fox says it floats looks really fucking cool yeah so that's why I said yeah it, it gives it the illusion that the lion face is just floating look at that and in person it looks really nice and I'm sure on camera it looks pretty good too and see look at that you can even see the shadow of the brass lion on the inner weight look at that that, oh, that, just, that is amazing yeah in person you can definitely see the shadow oh look at that that is that is pretty pretty nice and yeah you don't see the screws you don't see the screws for the line look at that but on the inside you also don't see the screws for the line you just see the brass weight okay so we are putting some so switch test while wow, the brass plate fits switches very tightly but it does so mod switches definitely a no go on this. These are just some alias switches. So I'm just putting some PCB mount switches to hold everything together. Plate fit switches very very tightly. Oh shit! I just realized I haven't had dinner yet. Fuck. Yeah, as you can see, it fits switches very tightly. Supremely tightly. I'm actually just not even gonna put it in for now. Screws over here. Oh, Titty, welcome, welcome to the stream today. How are you doing, my friend? True Lazy Far said that the black PCB at the corners, everything matches the stream. Hey, yes! So, look at that. Oh, that, yeah, don't ignore that, but look at that, black, yellow, white and gray with the polycarbonate and brass, oh boy, this looks good.
Oh, Tiddy says, I have that mouse mat coming in this week. Well, you, I hope you will not be disappointed. So the yellow does kind of look kind of whatever, but the white and greys look very nice. Or at least the off-white. It's not white-white. Money Coffee says, I think Wodan's single plate was super tight when he built his. Yes. So, same problem here. Plasma Solution says, super nice. In fact, are you going to keep this? No, this is not mine. This is for Duck Coggy. Is he... Is he here in chat? Because I don't know what his Twitch name is. I think that's the... Yeah, so on Discord he is Doc Goggy, but I don't know if he's here. He did say he was gonna try to tune in, but he I think he might have tuned in at the start room. So that was two hours and forty minutes ago. Not actually Doc. Hey, how's it going? Finally home in time to catch a stream, Bog Champ. Well, good to see you here. Welcome, welcome. I mean, it says I love to put some tangerines in one of these. So this one will have vintage blacks, from what I, from what I know. I mean, it says, man, it looks so good. Yes. Now, uh, yeah, I, I feel really sad that that you're forced to use the wind keyless layout. Why? Why? Yeah, I would love to get a polycarbonate bottom to go with the aluminum top. I think that would be very nice. So instead of all poly, you have alu top and poly bottom. I think that would be a nice in between. Okay, so now let's glue this whole thing together. Man, look at that with the black PCB. So yeah, so it's shipped with a purple PCB. of a weird decision. Minkilas looks best on single. Oh, I will absolutely fight you. On the internet though, not in person. I know you do weightlifting and I lift a lot of weight too. About 190 pounds every day actually. Fish in a spacesuit says, actually I need some switches for this. Hand grabs a pack. Yes, so I have switches and stuff just everywhere. That's what's nice about having your, your keyboard workspace separate from your bedroom. You can afford to just have crap everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> because the compromise I had to make was my bedroom's in my living room. Or my bedroom is my living room. Well, that's right. I just remembered. I was supposed to. I was supposed to do a, a room tour video. We'll, we'll get to that soon. S soon. Again. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Morning Coffee asks, why is it not advised to ship the brass plate assembly in the Singer and 
brass plate and weights. Polycarbonate is a very soft material. And so if you have something heavy shifting inside and you saw how tiny those screws are. So for example, like the inner weight you saw, it's just those ti four tiny little screws, not deep at all, just kind of hanging onto the plate. And you saw that even the middle, you could, it, it was bowing in the middle and you could just actually, you can just try to grip and just fucking yank it off. And so that's why you advise not to do it because if it moves around a lot, the brass might tear a little bit, any kind of side movement might tear the, the 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 screw threads and the polycarbonate and so yeah so just like Droke says it'll deform the polycarbonate okay but let's take a look at this um, one potential problem I see is that the at least on the underside so you've got one row of LEDs blocked by the brass and one row is just it's free to shine so maybe on the when you look at it underneath it might not look too even in terms of the RGB but we'll let's plug it in and we'll find out but so, okay so assemble so with the if you have a black PCB which I think is the correct way to do this maybe or maybe you like the purple though but I think most people will prefer the black PCB You know, whenever people say, whenever you have YouTubers say shit like, you know, so, which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. You think they actually fucking look at it? They just want you to put comments in there so that, you know, you, your video will get more traction and, and sh stuff like that. You think, oh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And they're not going to read that shit. Especially if they upload videos every day, there's no way they look at their comments. But okay. Look at this. Man. This should be a marketing piece for the singer. Look at that. That oh that looks so good. Doesn't it? Now that he says maybe other L other PCB has LED placement. So no, the other L PCB does not have LEDs installed. This one specifically, the singer PCBs do not come with RGB LEDs pre-installed. This one specifically does. This was a, the replacement PCB sent to me from Elaine or Cat Wee because my the the first PCB that I got was had a fucked up USB connector. But look at this! Wow, that that looks quite magnificent. Now let's see if how it looks with one light source turned off. Oh man. Okay, see the shadows because of one bright light coming in from this direction? Or actually, it could even be better if I do it this way. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let me turn off more lights. No, that's okay. See, look at that. Look at the shadow that the lion mane casts over here. That is, that is quite nice. Look at that. So yeah, so, super nice. It makes me really want to get a, find a way to get a polycarbonate bottom somehow. Yep, 3D. You're absolutely right. Yeah, the floating effect is just so cool. On this, look at that. Look at that. Wow. See over here on the inside? That is insane. Okay, so enough of that. Let's plug it in, shall we? See, so maybe aluminum top might look better just because it'll 
you will actually hide all this stuff. So as it's not so much better, but it will look pretty good too. The aluminum will have that going for it. That's what I'm trying to say. If you go on, if you go with alu top and poly bottom. RGB actually yeah so if you want RGB to go with it I think a lot of people will have the RGB turned off anyway on default I'll just not install the RGB LEDs <laughs> Zero, zero one number one single salesman I don't know man I will, I did not give that positive of a very overview of the aluminum one but okay but I can change the RGB LEDs actually okay so if you will come with me what we were gonna do is we're going to change this so do you okay what color do you want to see talisman solution says you want to see purple so we could do all purple can definitely do that. Um, okay, but is this purple? Is this not purple enough? We could do a darker purple. Okay, so we got a darker purple. We can also do white. Let's keep it at white default. Although usually white is kind of bluish, so we can try to do. Usually, I will use something like a light yellow or light orange. Usually, that will give us a truer white instead of the normal white. Like, look at how blue. This looks, if you see, look at that. Look at how blue that is. So let's give it a warmer color. Two yellow. Okay, I think, I think this is pretty good. So this is one color. And then the last one, what color do you want to see? Black lights. I, I, I'm not sure I want you guys to see the desk or what it truly is. Um, hold on, on. I will show you guys the actual LEDs in a second. We're just trying to sign the colors. I'm trying to show you how to control the, LED, the RGB and then we will look at the, the primary view after this. You can adjust the brightness as well. Let's do you want to make it brighter? Can we? Okay, let's do that. Fuck it, let's pull that full brightness. Okay, so what color? So we have purple, we have white. That's supposed to be a white. I know it looks like gold, but it's supposed to be a white. What color do we want? Blue, maybe? Oh, that's very blue. Cyan, turquoise. Red usually doesn't look very nice, right? If it's a faded red, it doesn't look nice. Cyan might look cool. Hold on, let me find a more cyan, cyan. Uh, that's still too blue. I want it to be greener. There we go, that's a nice teal. Okay. And then rainbow, so this rainbow is kind of fucked up. Let's give it a proper rainbow, so red. We need orange, I think usually yeah, that color. Then let's give it a yellow. So I know that looks like orange to you, but that's what the RGBs will end up showing. You will see. If you pick just yellow, it'll look kind of like a weird white. Okay, and then we need green. I think the regular green looks fine. Blue. And then we need this purple. So we've got static hold on is it not okay there we go see see how when i put orange you get actual yellow look at that hold on see so now you actually get yellow even though i did orange and then you get a real orange when you use a very reddish orange okay so this is static, let's do flow. So 
So the flow isn't as nice as on the DZ60 or other QMK boards, but this still runs boot mapper and the flow doesn't look as nice. It, it's very, it has a very staccato flow. It's not smooth. It's very, what's what's a layman's layman term for staccato? Very, Jagger was what I was thinking, but maybe Jagger's not the right word. But you get what I'm saying though, it's not smooth, it's like the opposite smooth. It's very blocky, very chunky uh, transition between the colors. Whereas on the DZ60, for example, choppy, okay, choppy, great. Yeah, whereas on the DZ60, for example, it'll be a nice smooth uh, transition. Okay, so what, how does it look? Okay, so we've got the RGB and then we'll change the, the modes. So we've got, yeah, we've got it on the primary. Okay, so you can see, okay, look at look at this view. You can see the bottom looks pretty nice, right? Look at that. The top, however, looks quite, I don't like the way the top looks. So I think if you have a way to get the aluminum top polycarbonate bottom, it could be perfect, the perfect combo. Okay, see, so, You'll see the bottom, so it shows off the RGB quite well, right? But you can see the top, it, 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 the top just has almost nothing on the side. Look at that. Same thing over here, right? You can see on the front, the bottom lights up quite nicely, but the top doesn't follow suit. Same thing on the side and the back. Look at that. Ooh, that's that's pretty cool. That that is really cool. Look at that. That is super cool. But yeah, I think. See, so this the RGB lights up so nicely, but the top. Now I really want to get a polycarbonate bottom. I want to find a way to. I need to find someone. Give me polycarbon the bottom. If someone likes the transparent look on the top, hit me up. We will trade. I will trade you an aluminum one. Or I mean, no, no, no. If you like the transparent top, but you don't really care for the RGB, I will trade you an aluminum bottom, and you can make your. Your, your, your polycarbonate singer heavier. And you don't have to worry about all this RGB and stuff. And I will swap you. And so you can get a poly top aluminum bottom. Because I actually want the RGB. I think it looks pretty cool. Look at that. Look at this over here. It also shows the RGB pretty well, I'd say. But yeah, wow, this poly bottom, pretty nice, but it was good enough yeah so now let's look at it with the lights uh here i'll show you this first this is what the bottom looks like and then, okay so we'll do the single color too yes 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 i just wanted to show you the, the individuality so let's do a single color oh no There we go. That was weird. Okay, so this is supposed to be purple. We could do white as well. So I know some people want a white, so let's keep it at white for now. And so this is what it looked like. So of course you got problems. Okay, see how close these two LEDs are? And then look at this. So that's a problem. I think it's because the controller is over there or something. Okay, and then how does it look? On the top with just one solid color. Let's turn the lights off. Okay, this says, when is this build happening with what switches? So we're gonna use looped vintage blacks for it, I believe. But yeah, I don't know when yet. It depends on the owner and some things, because I have a lot of builds right now. 
to work on. So we shall see. Okay, so with most of the lights off, do you want more lights off? We can do that. So this is what you get. Okay, see, look at this. This is what I was talking about. See, so the bottom, nice and lit. The top, not so much. Which again is is expected, but if you wanted something different, then maybe you might be a bit disappointed. Okay, look at that. Okay, so and then we can try the other colors as well. We have gr teal. Well, that looks pretty nice though. But again, if you look at it from the side, it's not the same story. But if you have it on the desk, the sides still don't look as good, but at least from the top, it's not terrible. Yeah, the front still doesn't look very cool though, even on the surface. But you can see, okay, so on this camera over here, You can see, yeah, so the bottom lights up nicely. Top is pretty much nothing, at least on the, the wall, the side walls, but the, the face actually still shows some. Because it's basically the light reflecting off the surface it's sitting on and it's shooting straight up, but yeah, nothing on the sides. Same thing in the front. Mun Coffee says, Dark Jet Fire is the same. Yes. Yep, uh, not just Dark Jet Fire actually, Dark Jet Fire, Dark Lightsaber, Ego Viper. I, I can't remember where the Orion has it. Octagon does not have it because Octagon doesn't have RGB LEDs in the front. Sure looks great on the mat though. Yeah, so on the mat with the white and gray with the effects, oh, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Not bad, yeah, so not bad from the top, but again, like I said, it's because it is just reflecting light off on the mat back up to the face see purple hey there we go white uh, rgb your alien control panel oh yes yeah see so rgb again same problem right Bottom looks nice, but then the top is kind of whatever. Yeah, so again, if anyone wants to swap, if anyone thinks, you know what? I want my, my polycarbonate one just looks too light. Uh, no, 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 it feels too light. I need more weight, but I do like the way the polycarbonate looks on the top. I'm not going to use any RGBs. Hit me up. Fucking hit me up. I'll swap you. I will, I'll keep my name. Uh, I'll keep my singer and I will, I just want a polycarbonate bottom. If you want to keep your brass weights, you can. I will use my stainless steel weights. That's fine by me. But again, an offer out there for everyone who has a polycarbonate singer. If you want to swap bottoms, let me know. If you think that polycarbonate does not sound very good on the bottom, you want more weight, you want more heft to your keyboard, let me know. And we will work something out. Because I really, really like the polycarbon on the bottom. I think it looks fucking amazing. If with RGB, especially with RGB. Man. Okay. So I believe that's it for now, right? Because if anything else for me, I've already streamed for three hours. I haven't had dinner yet. 10 p.m. and I have to wake up like 7 tomorrow. Okay. So, if you have nothing, then I'm gonna run the credits real quick and then we'll look for someone to raid, someone on Twitch to raid. And, okay.
Okay. I want to reiterate uh, how nice the Monday streams have been because I have seen a lot of new faces, I guess new names. And so I am very glad that a lot of you are able to tune in on Mondays. I know that Friday, it's unfortunate everyone can tune in at that time. But I appreciate all of you for coming to hang out today. And Tazman Solutions, no, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, we had a lot of new people today, so that was great to see. And I actually have more people on Monday than I had on a Monday than I had on Friday. So that's pretty crazy. And so, okay, so for the new subs and the resubs, Christmas Kane, Hangman420, Fish Nothing, Chewy, and I believe we had a lot of new followers as well. Okay, so the newest one is Cayo Cavallo, 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 Cayo Cavallo, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, so cheers, Mr. Keys at the cheers. And then new follows, Talisman Solutions, thank you for the follow, Fish in a Space Suit, Old Goat, and Rohalav. And subs with Nitin Kapoor as well, thank you, thank you. And again, I'll see you all, right now we're going to look for, so if you have nothing to do, if you're just looking for a Twitch stream to watch, we're going to try to look for a friend to raid, or just someone else that does related content. Let me see if I can find anyone. If you know anyone as well, just let me know. Let's see if there's anyone streaming right now. Okay, so Stoops that we built a keyboard for is streaming World of Warcraft, but I want to try to find someone who is who does more crafting and making stuff. So let's see if we can find anyone. Yep, thank you, Honda Mili, see you, Tefram as well, and Talisman Solutions, OTD, Long Cutie Pie, Morning Coffee, ADX, okay, Alex, who else was here just recently, Mr. Keebs, of course, Arctic Fox, yep, goodbye to all of you, thank you so much for tuning in, and so right now I'm just trying to find someone to raid, uh, what categories do we have? Look for someone that's in crafting and making. How's that? Someone's doing Pokemon brick building. I believe. Let's do that actually. Hold on, brick building. Let's see who is live. Yes. So someone's building Lego. Which, as some of you might know, I really love Lego. And so, yeah, let's tune in. Damn, is that a Charizard? Damn, what? Okay, so let's go there. Um, so I've never seen this stream before, but I am part of the brick building community. We're Lego builders on Twitch. So we will do that, shall we? So if you guys want to join me, I'm going to be there for just a few minutes. And you just want something to watch, definitely tune in. Otherwise, I will see you all on Friday. Have a good week, everybody.